Welcome to whiskey.com where fine spirits meet. My name is Lüning, Haus Lüning, this is my son Ben. And today we have the great, great pleasure to taste the new Macallan 12 years old Sherry Oak. Sherry Oak, so we already had the triple and we had the double. And they were all, I think the triple was also in, in bourbon, right? And the yeah. double was in two kind of Sherry Oaks. And this here is in... Sherry Oak. <laughs> and this one is, well, famous for dozens of years. Mm -hmm. so this is just a new package for a well-known old relative. And this one was, well, increased in price steadily over the years. And in the last 10 to 15 years, the price doubled. Yeah, it's now a, it's close to a hundred in some market eighty, mm -hmm. uh, eighty. So this is expensive, and they changed the package from the blue one to a black one. I mm -hmm. remember very well when it was sand colored, uh, and the bottle was a standard liquor bottle, and then they switched over with the fine oak series to these kinds of bottles, and now today the top of the line of the 12 year old is black mm -hmm. so yeah um it's it's amazing how far or not amazing but incredible how far mcallen can mcallen can go with their price so it's it's now <laughs> yeah. in germany it's around 80 and it was discontinued for quite some time mm -hmm. over the last, let's say, two years, one and a half years, something like that. Mm -hmm. And we got it from different regions of the world. Now it's back in the in the core range of within most of the markets, but it's incredibly expensive. So this the this is twelve years old. So the whiskies have to be from two thousand seven, two thousand eight. And if I remember right, then McCallan reopened their second still house, which was silent for quite a time, for many, many years. They opened that in 2008. Mm -hmm. Probably they had that increase in spirit that they can, well, now to spread these whiskies in a lot of markets, if not all markets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, talked a lot. <laughs> it's theft proof. <laughs> there hadn't been a bottle in my life which I wasn't able to open in front of the running camera. <laughs> if you're not able to open it, maybe then you're too old. <laughs> yeah, thank you. <laughs> you're not you're not able to uh, unable to open it yet. <laughs> and I think uh, this one was hard, but usually whiskey bottles are not that hard. Uh, and I do have uh, a corkscrew, <laughs> typically. You have one yeah, over there. Yeah, I have a <laughs> knife, a corkscrew, and another corkscrew. So I'm also really prepared for, for the worst situation. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Don't cut the video. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so what do we have? Uh, well, not astonishingly, sherry. <laughs> <laughs> it's only 40% ABV. And the sherry is strong in this one, complex, little honey, little lighter flowery, fruity, complex in the aroma, definitely. So not too, too heavy, but definitely a sherry one. So you can see it by the color of the whiskey that it's not 100% first fill. So that's a mixture between first fill, second fill, and probably, I don't know it really, uh, third fill as well. Yeah. Yeah, it's wonderful, elegant, fruity, a lot of sherry. So it's a, a mixture between fresh fruits and berries, wine, sherry, wine, and here and there a little bit of oak. But very, very round. So it's a um, mm -hmm. the oak is very faint, yeah. smooth, smooth whiskey, and a very yeah elegant and dry one, and uh, not dry but uh, mature one. Mature, mature yeah. for a twelve year old. Slange, slange.
Mm. Gentle, smooth, oily on my tongue. Even uh, 40% strong. And then uh, spiciness comes through. Uh, well balanced in the back now, oakiness, a little bit going over to, uh, well, some coffee or espresso notes. And of course, a big, big nuttiness. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Mm. I would have expected a much lighter fluid in my mouth. So it's, mm, it does have a fruitiness, it does have a good sherry influence, but also has um, quite some spiciness combined with a nuttiness mm, and a nice round. Mm, what are these these grapes that you know when you when you put the grapes into wine or into a spirit or something like that? Mm, these kind of this kind of feeling. Mm, yeah, liquored so up uh, grapes. I don't know. <laughs> It's a big one, definitely for 40%. It's a big one mm -hmm. and it's up to the, uh, to the taste. I still remember from the old ones. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a very good one, but always it rides along with the price. Mm -hmm. <laughs> a 12 year old whiskey for, for 80 euros or 95 uh, $90 is quite a, quite a piece. Yeah, but people buy it typically for the taste, for the reputation, and not for the price. Mm -hmm. Yeah, if you can afford it, you know you get a good whiskey if you buy from McAllen. Mm -hmm. There is yeah. there is nothing like a bad McAllen. Oh, we can we can show it. Uh, here we are. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, I like it. This is this is one of these drums that you can have in the evening if one or two friends are here or currently one friend um, that you can just really, what is it called? Sever? Really enjoy together. You can enjoy it on the side. You can talk about it because it's, it has a bit of a complexity, but it doesn't demand so much attention from you. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So highly recommended, mm -hmm. and I think you have to be a little bit lucky to get your fingers on the first uh, batches of this one until everything stabilizes and you will be able to, to get that whiskey everywhere as it was a decade ago, probably. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I still might have some problems in mm -hmm. distribution with all the demand all around the world. So that was it. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.